from international competition. Cheng Chu, there she is, the 22 year old, and as a pair, this Chinese combination have won five career titles, and it all started off at the Austrian International event in Vienna in 2007. I was actually there and commentating on them, and I think I said at the time, this is a pair for the future. Real talent to watch. They followed that up a year later in 2008 with three tournament victories in three weeks. Absolutely extraordinary. The Japan Open Super Series event, the China Masters Super Series event, and the Macau Grand Prix Gold event. Well, looking at our court officials, already mentioned the umpire, and there's our service judge, Tao Gianju. Amazing. So always nerve-wracking moments before the start of a semi-final. Let me quickly tell you about how they've reached this semi-final. Chinese combination. Well, they had a bye in the first round and then played against Lee and Ho of Korea in the second round. Very convincing victory that was. 21-4, 21-14. And then against the, well, we're actually looking at Har and Lee first and their path through. Second round is, was actually, that isn't quite right because I can tell you that the first round was against the Dutch pairing of Lotte Jonathans and Paulin van Dolleman. Second round against the number four seeds, the Japanese pair, Maeda and Suetsuna, was a walkover and it was a quarter final against the Korean pair of Choi and Lee. So Cheng Shu and Xiao Yun Lei, their two matches, both pairs only played two matches and both Ladies won and in two straight games. So semi-final gets underway. Keep going till London in 2012. the stages of the match, and that really did hamper their chances, really, of taking the gold medal. First time that these two pairs have met each other, and that obviously is because the Koreans are such a new combination. <laughs> Little hand signal behind her back, just letting her partner know what serve she's going to play. Remarkable start for the number one seeds. <laughs> Lift is long at the back line, holds the run of points from the number one seeds. Great intersection. Young and late. Yeah, well, the Chinese pair do like to attack in their play. 
And perhaps if there's been one criticism over the years of Lee Kion Wan, it's a contentment to defend so often. She's got excellent defense, but doubles is really all about the attacking play. just demonstrates it so well. Always a clever tactic in doubles. start by the number one seeds. Look how aggressive they are. Everything's hitting a downward direction. And quite frankly, going into the mid-game interval with a nine-point advantage. And surely Williams are going to want to start some attacking play soon. It's just not going to happen for them defending the whole time. Five minutes of play for this mid-going interval. Uh, always a good sign psychologically. When players come out on court first, it means they're eager to get on with it, they're full of confidence very noticeable that the Chinese pair back on court quickly. So this 11-2 advantage for Cheng Shu and Zhou Lei. Yeah, and there again, just lifting the shuttle. Oh, that's better. Oh, my word! Zhao Yun Lei stepped into that smash, took it at about shoulder height, and drove it back even quicker than it had come at her. out attack from the Chinese. Ah, that's brilliant. Well, a few years ago, women's doubles did become very, very defensive indeed, but certainly with the new scoring system of a point per rally, 
and the top Chinese women's doubles players now are very aggressive. They're really looking to attack on every single point. Well, 11 point advantage now. I think that's the answer to any aspiring doubles players who think that you can get through matches by defending. Good angle. Uh, that's a much better rally. Uh, the both the Chinese players hovering around that net area, both of them wanting to get forward to the net. Wonderful movement after the, the serve from Cheng Shu. Good low serve out wide, and she immediately moved forward to the net, ready to intercept that third shot. Well, this, quite frankly, at the moment, is a demolition job. last year for the Chinese combination that was the German Open so they reached six finals five times they were beaten finalists but my goodness they're looking impressive at the moment between these two pairs even when the Koreans do have the chance to get on the attack they're not unable to penetrate they're either not smashing in the correct place or they're not using the right angle and they certainly don't involve the net player in the same way Chinese pair when one is smashing the other player is really looking to intercept at the net that doesn't happen with the Koreans that's short that'll get put away yeah. is well constructed by the Koreans. big difference not once in that rally when the Koreans were on the attack did they manage to get the net player involved with the interception Chinese pair what a contrast and that was way inside that back line bad misjudgment from Lee Kyung Won I wouldn't have predicted this. I certainly would have put the Chinese pair as favourites for this encounter, this semi-final here at the Victor Korean Open. <laughs> 